Hey guys, uh, Ripple had their quarterly report out today for Q2, and it's kind of a mixed bag. Um, they had really good numbers of institutional and programmatic sales, but they said because it wasn't affecting the ecosystem or something the way they planned, they're going to reduce the number of both institutional and programmatic sales. Now, that actually might force the institutions to buy on the open market or they'll just stop buying, one of those two. And we'll see what happens next month. Out of the 3 billion XRP that came out of X, X row that were um, available, about 2.1 billion was returned to escrow or unsold or unbought. And the rest of the 0.9 was distributed um, either to institutions or to other programs and probably a significant amount to MoneyGram, which they just bought to fire up their XRP um, endeavors with MoneyGram. But the team has uh, said it hasn't really impacted price and ecosystems as much as they want it to. And because of that, they're going to actually scale back XRP sales. So in the Q3 report, you might see less overall sales. Now that could be good because there's gonna be less coins flooding onto the market. But if price doesn't pick up um, in Q3, NQ, well, Q4, if the price doesn't pick up, especially if Bitcoin ratio does not pick up in Q3 or Q4, um, that really just means that even though they're dumping less onto the market, there's no one that's really buying it. I mean, the couple of, you know, the couple of people buying it off hype aren't really going to be enough to push up price. And if Ripple kind of like starts to sell less, but the price doesn't start to increase because more people are buying on the markets and that requires that results in a supply price imbalance and the XRP ratio to Bitcoin still start, start still lags behind. Um, that means that demand just isn't there and institutions, unless they're being, being incentivized to buy for much less than what's on the open market, they're not really buying. So that's really what the report is actually telling me right now. It's good that they've increased the, they, they've, they've actually released more into circulation, which means that they have projects supporting the ecosystem, but they're going to pull back on that because those, some of those projects probably didn't work out the way we thought they would work out. And they're going to be more picky, in, uh, especially in their programming sales, and they're going to roll back their institutional sales too, perhaps to force those institutions on the open market. So we'll see what actually happens next quarter. Um, you know, if all the if the whole theory of the man is holding the price down is true, then we should see significant growth in both Bitcoin ratio and USD price for XRP within Q3. Now, it's been about a month into Q3 so far, and they actually said they started uh, rolling back at the end of Q2. So it's probably been more, maybe like two months uh, since they actually sort of started this policy. And of course, price hasn't risen then. So we'll see what happens in the next three months uh, as it actually goes on. So that's really my takeaway. That's my main takeaway from the um, quarterly report from Ripple. Um, it's kind of a mixed bag. Uh, I like it that they're rolling back the sales, but at the same time, since I haven't seen um, price increase since they've been rolling back the sales, um, you know, towards the end of Q2, which is about two months ago, I kind of think that there's really not that much demand for institutional or programmatic buying unless they have incentivized buys. So that's the report for today. Thank you and have a nice day.